always wanted to make one of these videos. I love watching Christmas gift guide videos and gift giving is just my love language. I love buying presents for people. I love wrapping presents. To me, it really is better to give than to receive. I just love the whole holiday season because I get to do this for people and have like coordinated wrapping paper and all this kind of stuff. So this is totally like my thing. So this is going to be a very affordable gift guide. To be honest, I didn't spend a whole lot more than $10 on anybody this year. Each gift is really between like 10 and 20 bucks. So we're trying to save for baby and we've had some kind of unexpected expenses come along just in the past couple of weeks. As much as I would love to just shower people with expensive gifts, I really, really would like that. Um, this year I tried to just find like some little thoughtful things and just keep it pretty inexpensive but still have fun shopping and fun looking for things that people would like. So a lot of these things I would buy in sets because I kind of have like little groups to buy for. So I have two sisters-in-law, is that how you say it? Sisters-in-law. And two mothers-in-law and then I have two sisters and my mom and then like a couple of friends I generally give presents to. And then like the nephews and the nieces. So for a lot of these things I just bought sets and then I can kind of split up the little items and give one to everybody. So one thing that I also try and think about when I'm buying gifts is I'll kind of look around at like what I have like what do I have that I really like that isn't really that expensive but it's just something I really enjoy so I think I've shown this on my channel before but I have this mug from Lauren Ish Designs on Etsy and it says it is well with my soul this is my favorite hymn and she makes these little mugs that have um, hymn lyrics kind of calligraphied onto the mug and every time I use mine, I just love it. Like I just love getting this song stuck in my head and kind of taking a break with a cup of tea. So I thought I would give these as gifts. So um, if you go on the Lauren Ish Designs website on Etsy, she sells a set of four. And so I, since I have two sisters-in-law and two mothers-in-law, I decided I would um, get the set of four and just give one to each person. The set was $40, so it ends up working out to $10 a person. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. There's another one that says, Then Sings My Soul. This one says, Ponder anew what the Almighty can do. And I'm going to wrap them like this. I just love these little bags from Marshalls. Um, Marshalls has tons of wrapping paper and tissue paper and bags and everything for really cheap. So I went to Marshalls and these came in a set of four as well. So I'll just open this one up. And this one says, Tune My Heart to Sing Thy Grace. So now obviously those have to be for kind of specific people, like it needs to be people that know hymn lyrics and like would appreciate that in their house. But um, for me, that's going to work for all of these women. And so I'm going to kind of think about which lyric I think fits which woman best. And I just love those. I think they're really cute. Another kind of set thing that I got that I think I'm going to give these to my sisters and my mom and then maybe I'll have one extra for like a friend. Um, I went to the body shop and these, they were having a sale on these which come wrapped just really cute I think. And so um, this is a shower gel and then um, a lotion. And I love the Moringa scent. It's one of my favorite scents ever. So you could like hang these on the tree or something. I don't know, I just thought these were so pretty. I got one in the argan oil scent. And I got a coconut one and then another Moringa, just in case like maybe I wanna steal one of them. So these I'll just have on hand if I wanna do them for my sisters or like at a, we, we're having a work party and we're supposed to bring a little gift, like maybe I could bring one of these or maybe for a friend. Um, but they were about $8 each, maybe even less. I think I like had points on my card or something. So I just thought that this was a nice gift to receive. It's something I would want. So I grabbed a couple. Another thing that I'm definitely giving to my mom and sisters are one of these little Toka perfume bottles. I got these on Birchbox. They had a really good sale on Black Friday. Plus I had like extra points to spend. And so if you've ever tried these Toka perfumes, they smell so good, I love them. So in this set you get three minis and I think these jars are really pretty. These are just really cute. And you get three different fragrances, Stella, Florence, and Cleopatra. I really like Florence actually. 
And I think like a small bottle of perfume is a really nice gift because if it's not someone's like signature scent, maybe if it's their signature scent then you want to get them a bigger one, but if it's kind of a new one then it's nice to just try something small. If they don't end up loving it then it's not like they have this whole bottle of it. But if it's small then they can use it, kind of decide if they like it, and then maybe buy a bigger one on their own sometime. And they're just cute. I mean on its own this would be a really nice gift for one person I think too and then they could try out three different perfumes. My family's going to Tahoe for the Christmas holiday. We're actually going like a little bit after Christmas but it'll be nice because we haven't all been together in a year since last Christmas. My sisters will be there, my nieces will be there, but you know, it's just a little bit of a hassle to get there. Like, I mean, all of us have to travel. Uh, one of my sisters and her boyfriend are flying in from the Netherlands, and then we're all driving a little ways and meeting up all together. So, you know, we gotta travel, we gotta stay for a few days. It'll be totally worth it. I'm so excited. But we all did kind of say, like, we don't wanna spend a ton on gifts, or, you know, you don't even have to get anyone a gift because just being together will be the gift. But I couldn't resist. I always like to just get, like, something little. So I was kind of thinking I would do like a perfume and then one of those body shop um, little ornament things. And then I also saw these at Sephora. Oh my gosh. These are like the cutest things I've ever seen in my entire life. I can't even stand it. These are four little makeup palettes based on different cities. We've got Paris, New York, Rome, and Rio. I'm going to open these. Okay, oh my gosh. These are so cute. And this was $29. So, you know, each one is less than 10 bucks. Let's look at the Paris one. So it's like this little notebook, and then you open it up. It has a mirror right here. It's got four eyeshadows and then a blush. Like, how adorable is this? And this is, ooh, I love this blush. This is so cute. Like, this is awesome. You could keep this in your purse, even. You could keep this, like, in your desk at work, or, you know, you could just use this every day. These are so, so cute. This one I'm kind of tempted to keep for myself, the Rome one got the mirror again and then it's got these really nice shades of eyeshadow that I just love and I love this blush as well like I think these are so cute so even if I did give like two to my sisters and like one to a friend like I could keep another one maybe <laughs> I think if you wrap this up or put it in like a little gift bag with maybe like a nail polish or something this is a really cute gift to get for your friend or for your sister or somebody at work or something like that so kind of sticking with like the grooming theme, okay, so my husband on Black Friday wanted to buy an Xbox. He hasn't had an Xbox ever, I don't think. In the five and a half years that we've been married, we've never had like a gaming system besides our Wii, which we just use for Netflix, so um, he wanted to get that, so that was kind of like his Christmas present. We kind of, we like split the cost and he got that. But I wanted to just still have something for him under the tree, and so like something that's kind of an inside joke is always a good gift. Um, Despite the fact that I do my nails constantly and I'm always trimming them, cutting them, painting them, everything, I don't have my own nail clippers. I always steal his. He gets really irritated. So um, I got him this like nice set. This was just at Marshall's but it's by Kenneth Cole and it's got everything that you could need. He always uses like these little scissors and stuff for grooming. A little nail file and clippers. Oh, oh the toe ones and the fingernail ones. He likes to have the two sets. And then it looks like this comes in like a, a compact, like you can close it. So um, he'll get a lot of use out of this. He likes things to be like in a box and separated out and stuff like that. So he'll be happy to get this, especially if I promise not to use it. Although it's like looking really nice. Like I kind of want to use it already. So boy gifts are the hardest, I know, and so I was trying to think of things to get for like my sister's boyfriend, my sister's husband, stuff like that. So um, for one of my sister's boyfriends, the Dutch boyfriend, I always see these at Trader Joe's every year and I love them. This is a little chocolate passport. So it's got chocolate from all over the world, Peru, Ghana, Tanzania, Venezuela, and just looks so cute. I love these. I love wrapping them. I just think they look adorable. Actually, I've gotten these for professors multiple times as like a little Christmas slash suck up here's my final and a present type of a thing. So since Timo really likes to travel and he enjoys you know nice chocolates and stuff I decided to give him this. I'll just wrap it up. These I love like square things too like they're so fun to wrap. 
and those are from Trader Joe's and they're like $9.99 I think and then I actually forgot to bring them with me but for my dad and for my other sister's husband they both really like jerky and right now Trader Joe's had like all these different kinds of jerky so I each I got them each like a couple um, packages of jerky they've got like all different flavors like sriracha and like turkey jerky and beef jerky and salmon jerky and all kinds of stuff so um, I just got each of them like a couple packages of jerky and I'll put those in a little bag they'll like that and we always have a joke that we like get my dad jerky and paydays for Christmas because we don't know what else to get him <laughs> Speaking of boy things and food, I also have several nephews that are like high school age and so um, there's a in and out down the street so I think I'm just going to go and get them each um, in and out gift cards. Gift cards are just kind of always good for teenagers, for girls, you know like Target gift cards or something like that but for boys I generally get them stuff for food um, because they are really active, they're always like playing basketball or like going on tournaments or something like that so it's just kind of nice to have a, a gift card for some food. And lastly for my nieces, I had so much fun shopping for them. I went on barnesandnoble.com on Black Friday and they had some really good deals. So um, I have a niece that is two and her name's Audrey. And so I saw this book called The Kissing Hand and it's by Audrey Penn. And so I was just like, oh, that's cute. Like it has her name right there. She can learn to read her name. I don't know if anyone else out there has read this one, but I read it, you know, when I once I got it in the mail and I really liked it. And then they were also selling the little raccoon that comes with it. It's got the little the little heart on its hand and she loves animals. She loves little um, animal toys and everything. So I'll just um, put these together and then we can like read the book together and like act it out with the stuffed animal or something. So I think this is a really cute gift for a little kid. And then my other niece is six and she's super smart and she just, she loves to like work with her hands and she loves school and so I've actually gotten her a couple of the Goldie Blocks kits. I totally highly recommend those. The Goldie Blocks sets are awesome. They're so good for little girls and it teaches them like engineering skills but they're like really cute at the same time and they come with a book and everything but I've gotten her like quite a bit of Goldie Blocks stuff so then this year I thought I would get her this mind-blowing science set. And this was from Barnes & Noble as well. So apparently you can do 11 science activities. It's got like the erupting volcano. Um, you can make like bouncy balls and like sand that doesn't get wet and all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, secret ink? Oh, invisible ink? Okay. So this just seemed really fun. Maybe we can do a couple of the projects together. She has a lot of like other toys and stuff already. So I just thought this would be something kind of different and this is totally up her alley. So this will be fun. And if you're going to be spending some time with like your nieces or nephews or whatever, then it's sort of fun to get something that you can do together as well. So I usually try and look for something like that. And that was like 20 bucks at Barnes & Noble, but again, it was Black Friday, so everything was like half off. So I got all of these things for a pretty good deal. If you're looking for either stocking stuffers or just more affordable gifts, um, I will link everything down below so you can find it all. Of course, the most important thing is just being with family, being together, hanging out over the holidays. But I understand that it is always nice to just bring a little token when you go visit somebody or, you know, mail something if you can't be there just so that you can show that you're thinking of them. Let me know too, what are some other like affordable but really thoughtful gifts that you've either received over the years or you've given to people and they've really been a hit. So leave some ideas in the comments below. Just, you know, help us all out a little bit as we're going into the Christmas season. It's coming up fast. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.